Hey ladies, are you experiencing PMS, bloating, mood swings, irritability, exhaustion, swelling, cramps, the whole lot of it? Do you have bad PMS? Are you ready to put an end to PMS and painful periods? In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how your diet might be affecting your PMS. For more videos on how to tackle PMS and painful periods, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Ladies, what I'm about to share with you today is the exact guidelines that I give to women to help them put an end to PMS and painful periods. You see, you can actually divide your moon cycle into four phases, your moon cycle or your menstrual cycle into four phases. So I liken it to the moon. That's why I call it the moon cycle. Um, but you can also look at it as inner season. So we have our period, which is the new moon or winter. Um, this is a time that you want to be hidden. Um, you're fully inwardly aligned. You're aligned with divine. Um, you're in that solitude energy. Then we come out of that. We go into our growth phase. You can compare it to the waxing moon. You can compare it to spring. It's when things are starting to take shape and form and we're coming out of our period. Then we get to um, the phase of ovulation, which we can consider our inner summer or the full moon. Um, this is a phase where you're shiny, you're bright, you want to be out there, you're fully outwardly aligned, you're in your heart chakra. From there, we move up into our upper chakras, we move into our autumn, um, which we can also look at as the waning moon phase of our cycle. This is when our upper chakras are more active. It's also called PMS, and this is where women tend to experience the bulk of these symptoms of bloating, of cravings, of um, swelling and heaviness, mood swings, all of that. So this is where we're having a lot of release going on, and that's why a lot of these things are coming up. If any of this resonates with you, ladies, if you've been experiencing these horrible PMS symptoms, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're experiencing, um, and let me know how you're feeling. How does our diet affect all of this? Well, you see, according to Ayurveda, we can actually categorize each of the seasons the same way we categorize body types. And if you're not familiar with Ayurveda, in Ayurveda, there's three body types which correspond um, to the five elements. And these are kapha, which is earth and water, um, which is also spring, which is also your growth phase. Then there's pitta, which is fire and water, which is also summer, which is your ovulation phase. And then there's vata, which is air and ether, which is considered autumn, which is also your um, PMS phase of your cycle. Now in Ayurveda, to balance these energies or to keep, the, keep these energies in balance, we use the principle of opposites. And what that means is that in kapha season, you're going to eat foods that will pacify kapha energies. And those are naturally or normally going to be lighter, more bitter tasting foods, in, in pitta, if you have excess pitta or in pitta season, you're going to eat cooling foods. And in vata, you're going to eat grounding foods. Now, if you map this onto your cycle, you can start eating accordingly in each phase of your cycle. When you do this, you start to balance these energies. And when these energies are in balance and you get to your PMS phase of your cycle, number one, there's less to release. And number two, you have less vata imbalance, which means, so when, we, when vata is imbalanced, Here's what we experience. We experience anxiety. We experience mood swings. We experience cravings, craving that really heavy grounding food. Okay, so when these things are imbalanced, you're going to feel all of that even more. If you're balancing these energies throughout your cycle, you're going to reduce that. And hence, your PMS will be less painful and eventually disappear. If you're struggling with PMS, I encourage you to download my free guide. The link is in the description below, but you can also go to www.loveyourmooncycle.com and download my free guide, Five Natural Ways to Stop PMS Mood Swings. You can also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post more videos. And be sure to check out this next video for more information on how to stop PMS and painful periods.